what does the month of May look like in Vancouver? Early May sees Cinco de Mayo celebrations and mariachi bands, as well as outdoor concerts, maritime activities, and fireworks at Richmond's Ships to Shore Festival. Beginning of May also marks the reopening of Playland with its many exciting rides. May is a time for skateboarding and skateboard competitions and youth events like at North Vancouver's City Fest. May is also a time for running races like the BMO Marathon which starts at Queen Elizabeth Park and finishes downtown. On the second weekend in May it's Mother's Day which is celebrated with brunches at various restaurants and Mother's Day teas and plant sales like the one at London Heritage Farm in Richmond. Farmers markets at Ambleside, Steveston Village, Burnaby and other locations are great places to find gifts for mum on her special day. Night markets also start again this month, including the Illumination Summer Night Market and Richmond Night Market, both in Richmond on weekends and North Vancouver's Shipyards Night Market, which features free concerts on Friday evenings. Things really get busy in Vancouver around the third weekend of May. That's when the Cloverdale Rodeo and Country Fair takes place in Surrey. Over the May long weekend, there's also the Royal Victorian Party at Stewart Farm in South Surrey, a parade and May Day festivities in Fort Langley, and the All-British Field Meet Car Show, which features hundreds of classic vehicles at Van Dusen Garden. The end of May has even more festivals and events including the European Festival at Swangard Stadium, the Carnival at Ladner May Days, the start of the Vancouver International Children's Festival, and the Surrey International Children's Festival. Whether you live in the region, you're visiting, or just cruising through, Metro Vancouver in May is a fabulous place to be. For more information on what to do in the Lower Mainland, check out vancouversbestplaces.com.